Hello, good people of the world. It is indeed your man, the big heavy. And if you've been a subscriber to this channel for a while, you've probably come to respect us for our high level journalism and professional standards when attempting to answer the deep questions that plague our society. And if you're new to the channel, hopefully you've come today to experience some of that professionalism and investigation of profound questions that are facing us as human beings. For example, can a high-end battery backup system make a professional grade latte during the zombie apocalypse? Which is what we're going to attempt to answer today with the EcoFlow Delta Pro and our trusty Breville espresso machine. So without further ado, we've done this test a couple of times now. We did it with the Jackery 1500, which was able to pass with quite a bit of fan noise and some bouncing up against its max power output, but was able to make it through. I'll throw links somewhere out in space here. Also attempted a similar, but a bit more robust test with the Bluetti AC200P battery pack. And we attempted in that case to make a full hearty American style breakfast to steal you for whatever zombie apocalypse related nonsense might await. And in that case, we were powering an electric griddle. We were powering a coffee maker. And we did bump up against the Blue Eddy's max wattage a couple times, and that guy, uh, the safety circuit breaker, kicked in and shut down our breakfast, unfortunately. But we were able to run the griddle and the coffee maker separately. So the Delta Pro should, by all its specs, be able to run this guy. He does some pretty good power draw when he's heating up. He'll suck some juice down when he's grinding beans. I'll uh, I'm not a coffee review channel by any means, but do like this machine. I'll put a link in there if you care. I'll put a link to the coffee company we use. It's up in Virginia. It's a little small joint and they produce some pretty good beans. Have no affiliation with either of those, but do like to keep myself caffeinated. I also apologize that I didn't wheel my big giant studio lights in here. I'm in our kitchen, so don't have my usual setup, but I don't think fancy lighting is going to fix ugly. So apologies for that, but on with the show. So I've currently got the EcoFlow hooked up to the coffee machine. It's also powering some other stuff that's on a random power strip in the kitchen, mainly the Alexa, and there's like a tablet back there that puts our family calendar and stuff on that. I've also got my battery charger for the camera hooked up to there. So it's drawing a couple or three watts. I'll do the little picture in picture trick so you can see that. I'm also going to speed up the video in parts that are relatively boring. This guy takes about 10 minutes to heat up, but hopefully you'll see how the usage looks on that panel. And let's get into our latte. So we've got this guy powering up and he initially cycles his pumps. It's got two, I believe, boilers in there that heat the water for both coffee and for steam. You may hear that in the background. That's the fan of the EcoFlow just kicking in. I can't actually see what kind of power draw it's pulling right now since I'm over here and that unit which weighs just shy of 100 pounds is on the floor, and in no way was I going to attempt to lift that up on the counter or this cabinet and risk breaking our furniture. So let's get that video rolling. You'll see how the usage goes as this guy heats up. I can also switch over to this screen where we'll see the current temperature of the water as it heats, and I'll kind of give you a report and we'll otherwise speed through this section as it heats up and see how it does. So I just walked over to the Delta Pro. It's pulling about 1400 watts, as you can probably see once I do the picture in picture magic. Uh, currently, the coffee maker is also heating. Not sure if you can see that from your vantage point, but it's currently at about 140 degrees. It heats the water to just shy of boiling, so to 10 ish. And we'll also grind some beans while it's heating so we can spin up the motor in there, make the sucker do a little work, and see how that impacts the power usage and see if the EcoFlow is able to keep up. So. Let's get after that part of the process. So normally if I was a coffee snob, I'd let the port tainer or whatever you call that, the port filter heat up a little more, but I'm gonna run the grinder while it's heating just so we can put a little more stress on the Delta Max. So we're grinding and you can see the wattage in the corner.
Now I just walked over to check out the unit as you know you can see in the picture in picture. It dropped down to about a thousand watts so this guy seems to have variable power draw as he heats up. The fans also spun down on the Delta Max. Uh, you know I would say the fans were loud and noticeable but not unpleasant. Uh, some of these things the fans get a little whiny or a little high pitched or sound like a jet engine. You know this guy you definitely hear the fans while the inverter's running at anything over a couple hundred watts but they're not terribly unpleasant. Uh, they are noticeable. You know, I think you can hear it in the video, but I know it's hard to, to always get a sense when you're hearing something in a video versus hearing it in real life. But I would put it on the order of, you know, a loud refrigerator or a quiet uh, in-window air conditioner type, uh, type noise. But the nice thing is it's constant. It has only changed speeds twice. It changed when we spun up when we were first heating and now it's gone down to that other level. So you don't have that annoying, you know, variable fan that's always going up and down so far. Now I'm going to do an iced latte because it's the middle of summer and I'm not wanting to drink a 200 degree beverage right now. So got some ice in my cup. We'll, uh, we'll get our milk going and our coffee brewing here. The machine is stabilized. If you can see all the little green lights, that means everything's heated up and ready to brew. And you maybe heard that the EcoFlow just spun down. So I assume it's drawing a maintenance wattage. You'll see that down in the corner and essentially the unit's ready to rock and roll. So let's make some coffee. We'll, uh, We'll brew and we'll also run the steam while that's going, so hopefully that'll put a little more stress on the unit as well. So I got a little cup for my coffee. I'm going to put the milk in and get that frothing and then we'll brew our coffee at the same time and see what happens with power use. So the nice thing about this machine, it's kind of dummy proof yet brews in a, you know, a higher quality than some of the fully automated machines. You can see all I did was whack the button that said froth milk and through whatever magic of Italian or Australian or whoever makes these things voodoo, it'll brew a pretty nice foam and it'll brew a pretty nice espresso shot so you can get uh, high grade coffee while still being a big dumb animal like myself. So that guy's still going. We'll clean him up and do the steam and we'll see how it tastes here in a moment. All right, so as we said, ice latte. Uh, let's put a little hit of something in here, a little brown sugar cinnamon since that's what's nearest to me. Um, Throw our coffee in there. We got our milk. Guess I should have brought a stirring apparatus over to pre stage that and be a little more prepared, but oh well. That's pretty solid. I think I could go out and battle some zombies or, you know, the WHO or whoever the various news entities are telling me are coming to invade. And, you know, obviously the EcoFlow was able to keep up with flying colors. You can hear its fan is kicking on every now and then. I assume that the coffee machine draws a little power just to keep things warm every now and again, but EcoFlow has passed the latte test. I do have some more EcoFlow stuff coming out. They've sent me a whole bunch of goodies that I will be reviewing here shortly. And appreciate you visiting the channel and sticking around for the low grade antics. And I promise and commit to you, my friends in the viewing public, to keep it lowbrow and to keep the same level of nonsense as we progress. So thanks for tuning in, be well. And this is the Big Heavy saying cheers and peace.
Ever wonder why every talking head on YouTube asks you to hit the like and subscribe button at the end of their video? You were right, because we're living in a computer simulation. And our benevolent robotic overlords get just a little bit of energy every time you hit that like. So do me, the rest of civilization, and our benevolent robotic overlords a favor. Match that subscribe, be kind to each other, keep living your simulated dreams.